This week marks three years since deadly wildfires ravaged Sevier County. The anniversary offers a chance to reflect on the 14 lives lost as well as the countless people who were rescued. That includes an Alabama woman who recently returned to Gatlinburg. WBIR 10 News reporter Jim Matheny has her story of survival. Every year I get my calendar and say, now when am I going to Gallenberg? So it's a pleasure. Through the ups and downs of the year, a high point for Reba Williams is her traditional trip to Westgate Resort. The same trip she made in November 2016. When hurricane force winds fanned ferocious flames through Gatlinburg. Got knocked on our door and we didn't know it was an emergency. Got on the elevator. It went down half a floor and the power went out. I started calling 911 and they would say, well, we're sending somebody to get you. After that first call at around 8 o'clock at night, Reba and her husband waited and waited. Called 911 a few more times, but nobody showed up. The roads were blocked. About 3.30, we saw um, a red glow at the bottom of the elevator. We're not going to make it out. So then I tried 911 one more time. 911, where's your emergency? The elevator's on fire. We're burning. Where are you, ma'am? Please send help. Where are you, ma'am? Westgate Resort. He said get to the lowest point in the elevator. You gotta go that way. The lowest point for the dispatcher was when he learned crews had tried and failed to reach them through a tangle of burning trees and power lines for eight hours. Reba, how long have y'all been in the elevator? You just got in it right before six, you called? Six, six, 8 p.m. You've been in the elevator since 8 p.m.? Yes. They're getting closer, Reba. I'm still here with you, okay? Of course, he kept saying somebody's coming, but I thought, it's like you tell your children it's going to be okay, it's going to be okay, and when it's really not. You just pray. They're on their way as fast as they can get there, okay? With a fiery hell creeping up from below, Reba and her husband made plans for above. We said our goodbyes to each other and said, see you in heaven. We just, we knew that was the end. I passed out. I saw Jesus in the white light. And about that time, I heard somebody say, ma'am, you've got to stand up. Fire crews pried the elevator open, rescued her husband, and carried an unconscious Reba down three flights of fiery stairs. We have located and rescued both people in the elevator. EMS is on the scene. And the next thing I remember, I was in the ambulance to Knoxville to the trauma unit. Williams and her husband recovered from burns and smoke inhalation. And after the fire, the only thing left standing of the building where she was trapped was the elevator shaft. And they're forever grateful to the rescue workers and the Westgate staff who took care of them. You know, it's people and relationships that count. And they'll keep coming back to Gatlinburg because after a night when they would not go down, the highs of the Smokies feel even closer to heaven. I'm a walking, talking miracle Absolutely. that I should not have come out of that alive. But I did. With reporter Madison Stacy in Gatlinburg, Jim Matheny, WBIR 10 News. And you can hear more of Reba's return and other stories about the fires in our new podcast, Inferno, the Gatlinburg Disaster. It's available now on iTunes, WBIR.com, at all podcast platforms. And it is riveting. We're going to turn back.